It's Wednesday the 8th. It is Wednesday the 8th. It is fucking the middle of the week. My week is going pretty good. Monday was fine. I had a great weekend this weekend. Was able to relax, take it easy, take the kids swimming. All that fucking good bullshit. I'm waiting for this weekend to come up because I got tickets for my boys to go see for my friends for my birthday to go see the comedy get down, which was George Lopez, Eddie Griffin, Cedric the Entertainer, and George Lopez. So, I'm fucking ready. It's going to be badass. That's what I'm waiting to do fucking do. So, all that fucking good bullshit. I had a great day at work and... You know, all the fucking regular bullshit. But I want to talk to you guys about something. You know, and it happened to pop into my head while I was at work. And it's changing the perspective of your younger ones. This is for your kids. All right. Those who don't don't have kids. Here's a little bit of parenting advice if you ever get kids. But, excuse me. This is something I used to get from my oldest son. I would get with my friends and we'd talk about the old days, the great days, the shit that we used to do, all right? The shit that how we used to get down and the way we used to act, the way we used to talk, the way we used to treat people, all right? We had respect for ourselves growing up, all right? We were big, bad gangsters on the fucking streets. We didn't like bullies. We punked bullies. We beat up the bullies. We didn't like that shit. No one stronger should pick on the weak. We never saw that shit. And if we seen that shit, we didn't let it fly. All right? That's how we were when we grew up. You know, we were hardcore, running the streets, beating people up, doing our fucking thing because that's how we represented ourselves. We are from the hood and we were 100% about that life. But as I got older and as I had a kid, I took a step back from that life. I had my son, my first son at 18. All right? I went to work. I got a job. I took care of him. I took care of his mom. All that fucking bullshit. And then as my son got older, he would see what I was doing. He would want to do what I'm doing. He, I play video games. He wanted to play video games. All right? I get with my boys and we talk about the good old times. And he, when he got old enough to understand, he's like, Dad, I want to be like that. Dad, I want to do that. Dad, that's cool. And I'm like, no, son. That wasn't cool. We were doing things we weren't supposed to do. I had to explain to him that you don't want to live that life. You want to live a better life. I'm giving you an opportunity in your life to be better than me. I had to change his perspective of how we were talking about it, how we were boasting about it, how we were laughing and, and enjoying ourselves about what we used to do. And I tell him, no, we were lucky. We got away with a lot, a lot of stuff and we don't have to pay for what happened. But I work hard and I give you the ability to not have that life. I want you to live a normal life. I want you to be a normal kid. I want you to be able to enjoy life. Not to be worried about going on the street and who's going to get at you. Who's going to come at you. Someone's going to confront you. Someone's going to try to get you. I didn't want that for my kids. I never wanted that for myself. But that's how I grew up. That's what I knew. It's the only thing I knew. The streets raised me. My mom was there, my grandma's there, my family was there, but guess what? I was running the streets. I allow my kids to do whatever they want, all right? I did whatever I want, no matter fucking what, but I allow my kids to do whatever they want to a point. And when I mean allow them to do what they want, they go with their friends, they go to the movies, they enjoy themselves, they do stuff like that. They're not out on the block. They're not out drinking. They're not out smoking. They're taking care of school. They're taking care of the stuff that's their responsibilities, you know, there was things I wanted <clears throat> and I had to figure out ways to get those things. My kids don't have to do that. I let them work for what they want and I get what they can. My mom struggled. She had four of us and she had to take care of more than four of us. And you know what? My mom did her best. I love my mom for what she did for me. And you know what? I love my kids. So I do things for them that my mom couldn't do for me. You know, I give them freedom. I teach them the right ways. I teach them the things that I wish someone was there to teach me growing up. That I, there, I, no one was there to explain true right and true wrong. All I knew is what I was supposed to do and how I was supposed to do it. All right. I knew how I felt when I did it, but I learned to ignore that feeling. I learned to ignore a lot of things in my life that I needed to ignore just to get by. But for my kids, no, that's wrong. This is right. 
This is the right pass. That is the wrong pass. That's the easy way. This is the hard way. But guess what? The hard way pays off in the end. Learn to make and learn to fucking work for what you get. <clears throat> That's what I taught my kids. I had to teach them the difference between my good old days and what the, what will be their good old days. I had these conversations with my oldest son. You know, he didn't understand it at the time. He just understood that he, he liked the way I was talking. He liked the way I made it sound. The emotions and the feelings that were I was projecting as I was talking about these good old days. And these good old days were great. They were mine. They're stories to tell. I have hundreds and hundreds upon stories of the craziest things you will ever fucking hear. But that's not the life my son's going to have. My dad wasn't there, but I'm there. I'm a guiding hand in my son's fucking life. All right? And in his life, he's going to have this guiding hand guide him as far as I can take him. Because I want him to have a better life than me. I want him to have the ability to do better than me. Make more than me. Live more comfortably than me. Be able to go out there and support himself. I can only take him so far. And it's only as far as he'll let me take him. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. These are the things that you need to teach your kids. You need to pay attention. Watch. Say. Listen. Give them the advice they fucking need. Because if you don't give them this advice, they're going to look for it for someone else. And guess what? Not all advice is great advice. They could be getting shitty advice from somebody else. You know? I got great advice from great people in my life. But the thing is, is it was the kind of advice that kept me survived on the streets. That let me live my life a very specific way and conduct myself a very specific way that the streets required of me. But for my kids, they're not required of the streets. They're not required of anything. The only thing that they're required to do is do their paperwork and do their homework and take care of the housework I ask them to do. <clears throat> Everything else I'll take care of. You know, I have a lot of life experience. But I want them to have a different and better life experience. Not the kind of life experience that makes them struggle. Not the kind of life experiences that's going to get them in trouble. You know, I want them to have the kind of life experiences where they have remembering nothing but the good times and, and smiles and playing. That's the stuff that I want my kids to remember. I want them to remember that they enjoy all the things they got to do as a kid. You know, I don't want to have to, them to deal with the law. I don't want to have to have them be locked up. I don't want them to go through any of that kind of bullshit. I want my kids to understand the difference between right and wrong and their perspective and what was my perspective. You know, I have a whole new perspective on life and it's because of my kids. As soon as my oldest son was born, I told myself, I will never be like this again. I'm going to take care of him. Before I take care of myself. And that's how I live my fucking life. This is advice I'm giving to you. Because you need to make sure that your kids understand what is going on at all points and times in your life. And you need to make sure that they under the concept of what was you and what will be them. You know, I want them to be themselves. I want them to have their own personalities. I want them to grow up to be who they want to be. Not who I was. They don't have to live the life I live. They just need to live the life... That they deserve. That's all I'm fucking saying. You know. This podcast isn't too much today. But like I said. This is just something that popped in my head. You know. I'm like fuck. I remember that. I remember saying that. I remember having that conversation with them. And you know what? It is what it is. So guess the fuck what? Take it or leave it. This is Angry Motherfucking Dad Podcast. I want you guys to fucking rate and review everywhere. And every whatever place you fucking listen to. Okay. Also too. Look. You want to watch this video? IGTV, fucking YouTube. You can listen to this podcast, Apple Ca uh, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, fucking SoundCloud, Google Podcasts, all that fucking bullshit. You can fucking find me everywhere. All right? Easy as fucking that. All right? It's Angry Motherfucking Dad Podcast. I'll see you motherfuckers on Friday. And guess what? On Fridays, I tell stories from my past. So if you want to fucking hear that story, I got a good one. And it's going to be a great one. So check it the fuck out. Angry Motherfucking Dad Podcast. I'll check you fucking later. <laughs>